Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today is just kind of going to be like a current favorites video. Um, I have not done a monthly favorites in quite a few months, so I figured I would just kind of sit down and go over all the products that I've been using nonstop since then and share it with you guys. So I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. start with something that just has a wonderful aroma scent around me right now. This is the Pacifica Island Coconut Nectar Body Butter. This stuff smells so divine. It is amazing. And so this is a body butter, so it's a little bit thicker than your typical like hand cream or hand lotion. Oh my goodness. So you guys, I like to put this all over my arms and it just leaves a beautiful scent that lasts all day long. I put this when I first got out of the shower this morning and it's now like 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I still smell it. It smells so good but it's not overpowering and it's not greasy or sticky. I highly recommend it if you're looking for something and if you like the smell of sweet coconuts. So kind of going along with miscellaneous stuff, but I feel like it's just essential to share with you guys because I consider beauty, you know, hygiene, hair care, skin care, I think it's all beauty related. So this actually is for your eyes. Um, I used to use Visine all the time, I still do sometimes, but if you guys suffer with really sensitive eyes, like you guys know I do, I have a really hard time finding eyeliners that I can put on my waterline or false lashes that will not over time just irritate the crap out of my eyes. Um, this stuff is really good at counteracting that. This is the, I'm not even going to pronounce it right, I already know, <laughs> Opcon A um, Eye Allergy Relief. It's good for itching and redness, which is amazing. Um, this stuff burns, though, when you put it in your eyes, but kind of in a good way. I mean, don't put it on after your makeup, definitely, just because you'll probably have mascara or um, eyeliner watering down. I like to use this right after I like, moisturize, after, you know, waking up in the morning, washing my face. And you, you literally have, have to blink hard for a couple seconds because it does kind of hurt, but it just does such an amazing job at clearing up the eyes. And I don't know, I have a really sensitive eyes, and without this stuff, like, Visine just wasn't really working for me anymore. I would put it in, and it would literally feel like I was just putting water in my eyes, and it would not clear up my redness. It wouldn't help the scratchiness of them, so... I don't know, I've really been enjoying this, and I just get mine at like Walmart, Target, any drugstore, um, and it's pretty affordable, too. It's under $10. A lip combo that I have been loving lately, you guys know I still love my Trap by ColourPop Cosmetics. That's what I use, like, on a daily basis, but I feel like I've been talking about it so much. So I have a different combo that I've been loving on days that I want a little bit more of, like, a pinky, peachish nude. And it is what I have on my lips today. It is another ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. This is in the shade Midi, though. This is just a gorgeous, um, kind of light, nudie pink. It's really, really pretty. But on its own, it kind of makes me look washed out. So I like to top this Buxom, one of my favorite Buxom lip glosses ever. This is in the shade White Russian. This is just that perfect light pinky nude. So these two together is what I have on my lips today. It is such a beautiful combination. And it's kind of fun because I put this on and it's going to last all day long. But um, to make sure it doesn't get, you know, like crackly or anything. I like to put this gloss on over top, and this kind of has like a cooling, plumping sensation, so it's a really cool combination. Not sticky, but super long-lasting. Also, stay tuned, I have a very exciting video. There is supposed to be a package I placed an order on a website a couple days ago, and there's supposed to be a package coming tomorrow of a bunch of liquid lipsticks that are even more affordable than ColourPop's liquid lipsticks. So I'm going to do a full swatch video, um, so I hope to have that up within the next week. Going on to eyes, I have a, two palettes to share for the eyes. I have the more affordable alternative right here. This is the Milani. This is one of their new palettes. Um, this is the number two Bare Necessities Everyday Eyeshadow Collection palette. That's a very long name. But they had, I think in my last video when I first got this, I think I said they had like one other shade. They actually have, I think like five different shades of these. I got the kind of like warm tone bronzy one, but I definitely want to go get more. I strongly believe that this palette is probably the best palette at the drugstore right now. Um, that's going for like the Maybelline palettes, the L'Oreal palettes. The quality of these shadows are amazing and they're so pigmented. They are creamy. They, they're not super flaky or they don't have a lot of um, fallout. They're not super powdery. And I just love the array of colors that you get here. You get two matte shades in this particular one and then some gorgeous shimmer shades. But this is what I have on my eyes today. I went more matte and then just kind of have the highlight shade up here on my eyes. Beautiful, beautiful palette though. And this is like $8.99 or $9.99, so super affordable. And then, not being biased or anything, but this is the Too Faced Cat Eyes. Cat, cat, get it. 
<laughs> my boyfriend's brother and sister-in-law actually got me this for Christmas and I started playing around with it and it's called cat eyes so she thought it was really cute and I, I just love that I have it just like sitting up on display but lately I've been playing around with it as well and you guys know my obsession with purple these are two gorgeous purple shades right here and then just the nude shades I just love Too Faced eyeshadows they are so gorgeous I'm thinking about doing a makeup tutorial just focusing on this eye palette let me know if you guys want to see that and let me know what colors you'd like to see this is a really pretty icy blue as well so pigmented so buttery smooth love these palettes one more thing for the eyes this is the city color eyeshadow shimmer or the shimmer eyeshadows this is in the shade cheers to life and I did a makeup tutorial using this shadow this is just that perfect kind of copperish orange bronze for me that I can apply all over my lid it gives so much dimension to the eyes and it's just a great kind of like if you just want to put one color over your lid and be good to go it's so pigmented it is gorgeous and metallic and just stunning beautiful for all eye colors but I think it really enhances brown and green eyes hopping over to face products really quick um, the foundation that I have been loving nonstop right now is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. My skin is kind of at a weird stage right now. You guys know when I moved to Colorado, my skin started to get some dry patches, and um, so I was kind of like altering my routine to working with some dry patches, not having to worry about my oil so much. Well, now that we're back in Washington and it's been about two months or something, um, my skin is definitely picking up those oils again. So my skin's been a little bit more on the oily side, and I'm trying to play around with that. But this is just the foundation that I go to all the time. It's just my staple foundation. Again, I get mine in the shade 220 majority of the time or 228 in the summertime. And this is the foundation I have on right now. It just gives a beautiful finish. I've talked about it so many times, but yes, still loving the Maybelline Mountain Poreless. So blushes kind of changed recently, and these two I just cannot put down right now. And they're not typical like everyday blushes, I don't think, but they have been for me lately. I'll start with what I've been wearing and what I have on right now. Actually, I have both of them on. <laughs> um, this is the ColourPop blush in the shade Rain. And I did a makeup tutorial focusing around this, like an all-purple makeup tutorial, because that is purple. <laughs> and you guys know my obsession with purple. I just can't get enough of it on the lips, eyes, cheeks, apparently. <laughs> um, this is such a gorgeous purple, though, and it does pick up some pink undertones. And it's just... It sits so beautifully on the skin. It is what I have as a blush today. And I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it's such a universal blush. It's going to pick up differently on everyone, but it's going to be stunning on everyone. And I just love the formula of these. And again, just how they sit on the skin. It's not cakey at all, and they just look beautiful. Going along with that, and you guys are probably seeing this and be like, Wow, you never wear those kind of colors. And I don't, but... Lately, I have just been really liking the way that they contrast with my skin complexion. So you guys know I really like um, like berry blushes and really bronzy blushes. But lately, I have been kind of liking the bubblegum pink as well, kind of changing it up a little bit. And this is one of the Milani Bake Blushes. This is their matte version, though, and it's in Delic Delicioso Pink. And it is just a true, you know, like light bubblegum pink. Really pretty. It's what I have paired over top just because I want it to add a little bit more color. Um, like you guys can see, I'm kind of sporting some spring colors right now. But, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But I really like the way it makes your skin look. It looks just so fresh and glowy and youthful and just really, really pretty. So, last two things. I did want to mention one brush because I have been playing around with highlighting more and more lately. And you guys have seen my really big fan brush that I use a lot. Where is it? I use this brush a lot for highlighting, and I still really like it, but I noticed that since I have oily skin, it's almost a little bit better for me, at least, to use a smaller, more precise brush. That way, I can really make sure that I get that highlight in the only areas that I want and not have it, you know, falling down my face. So this is just a Coastal Sense brush. This is in the BRCN42. I wish they had just normal names, um, but I will have it listed down below. It is just the perfect size, though, for getting right here and making sure that you can just get that very precise right down the bridge of your nose, tip of your nose, cupid's bow. It's just like an all-in-one, quick, easy way to do it. And I can even get right here above my eyebrows when I like to do that to give like a lifted appearance. Really, really love this brush. Alright you guys, and that is all the products that I have just been loving and obsessing over. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are some products that you guys have been loving. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel, that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much you guys for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in my next video.
Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a little new drugstore haul. Most of these products are fairly new to the drugstore, I believe. Some of these are just stuff that caught my eye while I was at the drugstore shopping around and I figured